Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the Five Minute Read Maker. Um, a little while ago, Beth asked me um, because we shorten the tip length in the lower blade, the blade that goes uh, right by our right into the mouth, um, should we also lower the heart on that side? And because I had a read right here that I was working on just now in this hotel room, that is sort of backwards from what I would normally want. I thought I could use it as an example. Um, you can see maybe, this is my lower blade, and I say that because that's where the crossover is, and that's also the, where I've cut the shorter tip length because I've been constructing this for a little mm. while. Um, but it looks to me as though here on the upper blade, the one where the tip is longer, my heart actually sits a little bit lower. I did measure this, but I won't bother to do it for you, but here's my rooftop on my upper blade, and here it is on my lower blade. <laughs> Maybe that's obvious. Um, that currently this rooftop on the lower blade sits higher than the rooftop on the upper blade. And like maybe there are other issues with this read as well, but it feels really backwards to me. And as I went to clip it, which it does need a clip, um, I really found myself wanting to clip it backwards with the uh, crossover side on the upper blade instead. And that's really only going to confuse me when I go to play this read. And it feels wrong to me. Like one of the reasons that we use the crossover as the lower blade is because the thread is a little bit lower on that side. A little bit. Um, and I just feel like everything, instinctively, this read uh, wants to be shorter in every aspect on the lower blade. Just a little bit. The tip shorter, the rooftop shorter, the whole heart sitting just a little bit lower because the thread is lower. And on this side, I want everything sitting just a little bit higher. And in fact, the opposite is true right now. Um, and this is so subtle, right? This is all within one half wind of thread, one half of the width of a strand of thread is the distinction I'm looking at here, but it feels wrong to me. So here's how, where the reed stands right now. It's crowing a C, but it's a little up and a little ugly. And I need to clip, but I'm not especially comfortable clipping the way it is now because it's already crowing a C. What I'm gonna do And there's not like an immediate obvious place that I need to scrape other than the fact that here on my lower blade, I'm, I'm too high, uh, which we, I've just been talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the rooftop on this lower blade, just an iota. Bringing it down, not even half a millimeter, I don't think. And I still don't feel like I'm lower than the upper blade, so I'll bring it down one more. One more iota, that's a technical term. All right, so all I've done is scraped on this lower blade. With any luck, I've dropped the crow. Yep, and now I can clip. I have to do this out of frame because my because I need the cutting block on the edge of the table. Okay. And back on the oboe. It's um, contained in a really nice way. It's collected. Um, there's a pitch floor that I can reach down to really easily. Um, and it's still responsive and good. So that is why I like to um, think about the lower blade as being generally shorter by probably not even half a millimeter, but generally shorter than the upper blade. This has been a five minute read maker lesson. Please follow these uh, short videos right here on YouTube. Please subscribe, it'll help everybody if you do so. And if you have questions for me or ideas for other short uh, read making videos I could make for you, 
please reach out to me at JanetIngle.com. That's also where you could order Reed Zirkane if you are interested in doing so. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.